Today we're going to talk about what type of video you can use for your website. My name is Steve Goldberg. This is our video blog from Memories FX. Thank you for dropping by. Today more and more companies are revising their websites or looking to add elements to their websites to make it more engaging. And video is probably the best tool you could add as a marketer, as a communicator, to communicate with prospective buyers and current clients as well. Now, when we look at a, what video to choose for a website, uh, first we want to think of what is the purpose of our website. And really there's five purposes or five objectives for a website. One is to build brand awareness of your product or service. So to broadcast out there so people can find you and you could start a conversation. Number two is to actually build, you know, have a goal of building a relationship, building trust with people. So, you know, as they go through the buying process, they consider you more and more as their best option. Number three is to capture visitors' information, their contact information, their name, company, email address, so you can start emailing them or, or communicating through a newsletter, uh, through your blog. And this is best done through a free offer, such as a white paper, similar to what we have uh, on our website or, or actually in this blog. I put a link to our white paper so you can see how that works. Um, and the, the number four thing is to actually sell products or services. Well, usually products it could be a service as well. Uh, directly through your website. We've all probably bought things over the web by now. Um, and, the, and the fifth thing, which I think is perhaps not used enough, is to actually engage current clients uh, through uh, training material, through how-to videos, case studies. So there's a rich array of ways you could engage your current clients. It doesn't, of course, have to be only video, but today we're talking about video because it adds such a dynamic element. Let's go back to uh, you know, some of the w types of videos you can use for each of those objectives. Now, if you want to build brand awareness, uh, you want to perhaps have videos that talk about your products or services. And of course, where you place the video on your website depends on you know, the purpose of each page. So some pages may be more uh, hard sell and others maybe just to build brand awareness and and maybe to do that you want to have a, a corporate overview video which gives a perspective gives the history of the company gives a rich feeling to who is the company made up of could be interviews with uh, the founders or key people or employees in the company and this starts as well helps in that uh, objective of building relationships and building trust. Now another thing you can do for the trust building uh, element is to have testimonial videos from people that like you, that are using your services. Also case studies of how your products or services have made a difference for others, for other businesses. So those are two types of videos that I think are really good, the testimonial and case study. Now if you're actually um, looking to capture people's information, well, often we go to websites where there are free offers of reports or white papers. Adding that video call to action could be very short, just, hey, these are the benefits you'll get from watching this or downloading this, this uh, report or white paper, whatever it is, uh, or it could be actually a link to a video. So sign up now, just giving that call to action. I mean, studies and stats show that the more you have video on a landing page where there's a, a clear call to action, the more people will tend to um, take that action. And there's actually a link in, the, in our blog portion uh, that goes with this video to some stats where you could uh, find more about that. There's been some studies done on that. Now, obviously, if you're wanting to sell products or services directly from your website, uh, product review videos, a product uh, demonstrations, how the product works uh, is great. I, I know now there's a lot of startups that are using uh, crowdfunding type uh, sources like Kickstart and there's a lot of tech gadgets that people will actually buy in advance because uh, they're so enamored with what this new product will do and they want to get first crack at it and there's always a video that 
plays to demonstrate how the product works. So same thing to sell a product, give it that little edge with a product video, how this product works and how it benefits you or how that service uh, you know, solves your problem. And then of course, the, um, you know, the objective of engaging clients. I mean, the more that clients are engaged with you, the more they're gonna buy from you again. And they, you know, it's often said that it costs, I don't know how many times more, probably 10 times more to go after a new client than to sell more to an existing client because they already trust and like you and you know, they wanna buy more. If you have new solutions that can help their business, they already know that what they've gotten from the last one. So engaging them with a video uh, is a great thing. Also, some companies are using videos as a customer service tool to answer problems that many people have and they demonstrate the solution to that through a, a quick how-to video and thus that eliminates or reduces calls to customer service so it also helps you reduce your your overhead and and you know gives your customer service people uh, you know gets them to working on more advanced problem solving type situations so those are really the key things to uh, think about. You know, uh, look at our blog, we have some examples there. And video is a great opportunity. I think, you know, in, in a few years, everybody's gonna have a video. Nobody's got, not gonna have one, but the key thing is to put the right video for the right objective on your website, whether it's your homepage or a specific landing page or product page. So hopefully, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, thanks for listening, and we'll see you again soon uh, in future blog articles around these topics.